Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to see how we can create an accordion in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here is the demo. See it is looking fine and working as well. So let us, let us get started and create our own. So in our new folder I will be creating index.html css.styles.css and script dot js file i'll be loading the boilerplate code for the html i'll giving it a class i'll be giving it a class name or yeah i'll be giving it a title and i'll link up the css file and script dot js Now let us create the HTML structure for accordion. So accordion container. It will contain all our accordion. So accordion. accordion h3 i'll call it faq1 and then what i'll do is i'll first of all we'll need some icons so we'll be needing these icons this down arrow and up arrow so for that we'll be using font awesome cdn So I'll paste the CDN over here in my HTML file and I'll co copy the, the up arrow and down arrow icon inside, an accord, uh, inside our accordion element. So yeah, this is done. Now, actually I've missed one thing. So inside our accordion div we have to create another div called accordion header and inside the accordion header we will be having an h3 tag with which will which will have the heading faq and and two uh, and two icons one is the down arrow icon and one is the up arrow icon i have given it a class name of show and hide which we will be using later with javascript to show and hide our accordion so yeah this is it and now we'll be creating an div with accordion body class name and inside the p tag i'll paste some dummy text Okay, so this is done. Now what we'll be doing is I'll copy the whole thing and paste it two times, two more times and now I'll be launching the live server. So yeah, so this is how it is looking right now. So our next goal will be to style this. So first of all, I'll place some basic HTML margin 0, padding 0, margin 0, padding 0, box sizing, border box, font family would be sans serif and accordion container. Accordion container will have a width of 85%, margin of 2 REM and auto, so it will center it horizontally. Background color would be RGB 
and 213 box shadow would be one pixel one pixel one pixel one pixel and create it give it a very light gray color so this is how it is looking right now uh we'll have a border of one pixel solid actually border is not needed so yeah this is done now let us now style guardian had a display flex just five content space between align item center padding one rem 1.5 rem width would be 100 percent Cursor pointer, cursor will be pointer, background background color would be RGB twenty two one five two one five six. The same color which we have used earlier. Color of the text would be white. Transition would be all 0 0.3 seconds and linear. So this is how it is looking. Uh, as you can see, the up arrow and down and down arrow keys are showing up here. So showing in the middle. So what we'll do is we'll later on with JavaScript uh, hide and show uh, only one of these. Uh, up arrow and down arrow keys depending on the situation sorry up arrow and down arrow icon depending on the situation so this is done i think i have somewhere added a border which i don't need it Okay, it is the box shadow, so I'll remove that. So next up will be accordion header hover state. So it will have a background color of I'll copy the same RGB over over here and give it a very Give it a slightly darker color over here. Next is we'll be styling the icons, the up arrow and down arrow icons. So, accordion header I. I'll give it a color. It already has a white color, so I don't need. I've already given it over, so I don't think we need it. Next thing is accordion body so it will have a padding of 1 rem 0 oh, no it will have 1.5 rem and 1.2 rem max height 0 Overflow would be hidden. Transition would be max height. Yeah, 
linear so this is how it is looking right now we'll what we'll do is for uh, with javascript we are going to manipulate uh, do dom manipulation and change change the state so that it can give you the effect of accordion so next thing which we have to style is the accordion p tag so for, first of all in the accordion body i'll give the display to none and in the accordion body p tag will have a color of p33 font size of 1.1 rem and a line height of 1.5 now what i'll do is i'll create two classes i'll give styling for two classes one is show which will have a display of block and one is height which will have a a display of none so what will happen is uh, we have given this class names to all our icons and the up arrow icon and down arrow icon show and height so whenever we click uh, on down whenever we click on the down arrow it will sh it will turn into up arrow and when you click on the up arrow it will turn into the down arrow so if, when we have to drop down the accordion so it will it will have a drop down icon and when we have to close the accordion it will have a uh, up arrow icon so i hope you understand this now all our css work is done now let us move into the main part of the of the tutorial which is uh, the javascript so see it is looking like this but if we click nothing is happening and you can see we have hidden we have we have high the down arrow has height has got hidden due to the, the display due to the display and property the up arrow has got sorry So accordion is equal to document dot query selector all accordion header what I'll do now is I'll create a for each loop for the accordion because if now right now I control lock accordion let's see what it shows so we, we get a node list uh, with the length zero because i haven't put the dot over here so yes so we get a node list of three elements three div tags these three now we'll be looping through it so it is accordion dot for each ACC uh, one second uh, we'll be listening for click one second ACC this and we'll be listening for the each item of the node list will add a, a to the each item of the node list will add a event listener and we'll be listening for clicks I'll create a function accordion handler so see this is how it is looking right now so now what I'll do is I'll create a accordion handler function we'll have ACC 
as the arguments so now what we'll do is if now we are talking about the individual loadless items so if the accordion dot next element sibling which is the next element which is the accordion body has a class name of accordion body or accordion body hide so it will be checking the so we are currently checking the icon of the accordion header inside the accordion header so yeah accordion children at the position one as a class list we will replace it with so would get replaced with height and accordion of children position two So I have placed this show over here, so it will uh, it will show. It, we have a CSS styling for show, which is display block. So it will show the uh, accordion body, and it will here show uh, hide the down arrow to icon to up arrow icon. So yeah. So this one here is to add a max to, to give it a max height which will be the scroll height uh, scroll height so so that we can give it a, an animation kind of effect now we'll set check with the audience next element sibling class name is equal to Accordion body so next sibling next element sibling dot class name accordion body hide
again we are doing the same thing which we have done above now we are doing it for to change the up up arrow to down arrow So let us now see whether our accordion is working or not. So there must be some error over here. okay so you can see now it is showing up so what i did a mistake was i i forgot to give it an another uh, uh, another uh, statement in the if so for accordion body just accordion body so that we can what i can do it is i can either place hide over here also in every accordion body class name so we don't have to write it write two statements so yes so this is now showing up and it is looking fine yes so that is it for today's video Thanks for watching and if you like our content you can like share and subscribe and share our content to the other people so yeah thank you about to fade away cuz every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same